Hey guys, today I want to talk about the most characteristic mantis technique, which is the mantis hook, or the tanglango. Okay, so first I'll explain the shape of the hook. Now there's two points to pay attention to here. The first is the wrist, and the second is the elbow. Now with the wrist, what we're doing is pulling from the little finger in, so that we're creating a natural hooking shape and tension here. Okay, going, going down. And the second point is the elbow. The movement is being driven by the elbow, not by the wrist. Okay, so I'm, I'm pulling down with the elbow and guiding the movement with the elbow. Now, if you imagine a fishing hook, if you throw a fishing hook out, the nature of a hook, the shape of a hook, will latch onto anything that comes into its path and drag it back. And this is what we're doing. Exactly the same idea as a fishing hook. If you throw a fishing hook out, it's not consciously trying to catch something, but just by its, the very nature of the shape of it, it will latch onto anything in its path. In the same way, the mantis hook isn't consciously attached to the idea of trying to catch a punch, because if you're just trying to catch a punch, you're committed to the idea, and if you miss, then you will panic. Instead, what we're trying to do is just let the shape naturally naturally hook onto whatever comes in its path. If it catches, it catches. If it doesn't, at least it's disrupted the punch. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean now. Okay, just give me a slow punch and I'll show the shape. So my hand comes out, little finger first, hooks down like this, the elbow bent and the elbow is pulling, right? So do this a little bit faster. So if you can see, I'm not attached to the idea of I must catch his hand. I'm just using this shape and more often than not, I am, I am latching onto it. At least I'm disrupting his punch and stopping myself getting hit. Okay, so if I'm going to follow up from here, if I'm going to follow up from here, I don't need, I don't need to be latched onto his arm. Even just disrupting it is enough to give me the momentum for my attack. You see, so as I come, as I come back with the hand, my, I, I then come forward again, whether I've latched onto it or not. Let's do that again. 